all of us who are in the crypto market is right now observing what the SEC is up to. And it does not look good for an institution like that to come out and state all those. Considering the fact, I would actually say like the sky high levels of hypocrisy, which is clearly visible in the SEC versus Ripple case, it is really easy to say SEC is the security of Wall Street here and they should be banned from the country if the country really need to step up as a leader in this technology where the world is adopting it, you really don't want idiotic claims made by idiots who are taking in a ton of money from the tax money, right? You go around the globe, you go to the UK, Singapore, Switzerland, wherever you want, you see this as a digital asset, this as a utility token. You know, they put different name, but they say it's not a security. But here in the US, you know, it's a different world. They make all these claims. And if you are literally looking at this, it does not make any sense here. They say Ripple did not sell XRP as a currency. It did not have any trite items for that. And I'm like, okay, if I remember correctly, from the time I'm looking at XRP and what are the different use cases, trying to look at the fundamentals of that asset back in 2017, I'm like, okay, they are trying to actually see what it can be used for. But personally, when I'm using XRP, I'm like, okay, you are sending the value. It's that it is really a means of exchange. There is no doubt in that. And in this argument here, where the SEC actually puts that light saying, okay, you see this? No one outside the Ripple's connections comes to use this one. And then comes spend the bits. They actually put the argument like, we don't even know Ripple in that case. They haven't given us any money, that kind of stuff. We built our own solution on an open source ledger, which happens to be XRP Ledger, because it solves a problem. So as we go further, we are going to look at all of this and why, now keep this in mind, why SEC is going to get hammered by the judge. And this case may get closed or go into a trials sooner than we all expect. This is the Scientific Investor family, where the normal common retail guys learn how to become the next top 10 percentage of the world. Yes, there is a lot to talk through, lot to go through to understand what really is happening. Now, from the time the world is using this technology, they are trying to put a regulation inside. Fine. So right now, when we look at all of this, it does actually see clearly that even banks are putting this one. This you actually get in a bank and they are saying a finite supply of XRP was created to be used as a bridge currency. Fine. So they are putting one idea. So it was created as a bridge currency. Great. Now we go down. What perspective do they actually use to take XRP in? Is it a currency? Is it a security? They actually comes on further to put this one. Their digital asset portfolio to actually diversify your portfolio. You can buy XRP. So that is coming from a bank. Now it's been there for some time. These are old stuff. Still, the SEC does not have time to go on the Google, type in and look what is happening all around the globe. They are just closing the eyes saying we can't actually look at this because we are being paid by the other guys to give them time, buy them time. That literally is happening. And right now the market is slowly bouncing. We can see all that is happening here, which looks good, right? Stable coins are going down. Money is actually moving out in different assets. Great, fine, that's all good, that's all great. But the real point to look through is what's happening here right now. The SEC is coming out with these kind of arguments. Now, this is actually a big document. But when you go through this, try to actually put time and read through this, you will definitely, now, understand me as an average human being, reading through this was like, okay, these are like, Sky high blunders, which I think is put out by SEC in front of a judge who actually understand all of this. 
they have actually slapped with words saying okay this is level of this level of hypocrisy right the word is important because they don't use the words just like that and then without a faithful allegiance to law now these are all critical words being used by a federal judge now that really is important now as we look through all of this you ask yourself like can you put 10 minutes of research and see whether that's true or not then why can't these guys sitting in the SEC do the same? They're being paid heavy, but, you know, they don't do that. So, here, we'll go through one by one. See, finally, they're quoting this. At its inception, XRP had no market. So, I'm like, okay, which product at its inception in this technology had a market, had a big price and all? Then you go look at ICOs. It just dumped into the market and they are fine, especially the ether based ones. They're not going after them. And they say this is a case. And I'm like, you guys really have to understand that. Then the next one, funded by XRP sales, they were building the blocks for XRP's trading market and many other efforts. So I'm like, okay, don't you really see consensus selling ether and building the actual ether network itself? That's not completed yet. Understand that it's not a completed network yet. They are still building because they don't have the scalability, right? They're still trying to improve it by selling the ether. This is common sense, but they won't go after that. Instead, they want to delay a technology which is being used right now because it's already solved a lot of problems. Companies are building on this outside US, inside US, they are putting that banner, don't touch, we are going to come after you, right? So literally, this is just buying time because SEC, even though it should be banned from US, other countries, they look at SEC like, okay, what are these guys going to do this time, right? In what mood they are. It kind of depends. So you are now looking at all this and asking, up. this is one of the important stuff. Shout out to Stefan for putting this one because I didn't actually know all these details here. Say JP Morgan was not only behind Madoff, but also behind Enron, you know that level of fraud which happened there with, I think it was the CFO and CEO who actually did all those laundering. They kind of, you know, went through different borrowing programs for their employees. And as a CEO and CFO, they did all of that and then loan forgiveness. You know, there is a lot of it. And now you look like, okay, then it clearly makes sense for JP Morgan and Ether to team up because they do all this stuff from a long period of time. Now Ether, as a group, has, you know, a leader to do all this kind of stuff. So that need to be known because JP Morgan is one of the biggest banks. And if they are backing all this shady business, mm, it's going to be hard to kick the status quo out and bring in this new technology, which really solves a problem. Great. So now, Contrary to the suggestions by Ripple, the two, I mean, okay, they're actually pointing towards um, Tabjet and Iremit, saying, you know, neither ODL nor XRP more generally eliminate the need to use traditional financial rails to obtain foreign currency. And I'm sitting here and thinking like, they call an exchange like Bitso traditional financial rails? E even this day, you go to a bank, try to do a foreign currency transaction. Say, for example, from your country, let it be US, let it be Canada, let it be anywhere in the world, do that transaction to another corner of the world, which is not so common. No correspondent banks would be there. They're going to cut your throat in terms of fee, right? And it will take two to three days to reach there by the time with the current level of volatility in the currency markets. You can see this. It's crazy. You don't really want to do that. Rather than that, you will go like this and look at this and say, okay, I can settle that in seconds. Now, this is someone who is working on building something for Bitcoin on the XRP ledger because they know that this, sob, this problem exists in Bitcoin network and they were working to create a solution. Now, they are not holding XRP. Maybe they are, I don't know, but they are not actually using XRP and XRP ledger as an investment. Now, when now this is another level of hypocrisy which you actually have to understand. When all of these are being stated by the SEC, now you go through this and they actually say, 
at one point, every sales of XRP or even these institutions who are buying this, they're buying it as an investment. And I'm sitting here going nuts asking myself like, you buy an investment for three to five seconds? Ooh, unless you are a bot, I don't know. I, we'll call that short term trading, high frequency trading bots does that. You as a human being buying an investment for three to five seconds does not make any sense, right? So when these institutions or anyone is using XRP Ledger to move any other asset, I don't consider that as an investment. I think you all will agree on that point. So as this is slowly getting in, all of the stuff we are observing right now does not make any sense. So here, the programmatic sales of XRP were targeted at those who wish to buy currency because they did not even know whom they were selling that XRP. And I'm like, okay. So for example, they understand that the XRP being purchased outside in different countries, in different markets, in different exchanges, they didn't know who's buying that. If they already understand that, then coming out and saying, this is a common enterprise, that is really hypocritic. The undisputed fact established that XRP purchases invested in a common enterprise with each other with Ripple and with Ripple huh? because they share proportionally in an appreciation of XRP's value. So I'm sitting here and asking like, if I buy a can of oil, say go to a gas station, buy this, and in say a month, the price goes up and I sell this, that is a security? So if you're doing the same for gold, silver, whatever, you pay a capital gain tax, great. But is that item which you're buying, let that be your orange, is that really a security? No, I'm like, the way they actually tried to come up with something, like, you know, John actually put this one clearly. SEC is literally making things up as they go. Now, when you read through this one by one, you will also come to same conclusion or at least similar conclusion saying, okay, this does not make any sense in any ways. Now, being an average human being who has food three times a day, if we can put our time in and understand this is the reality, then you really need to ask those who are being paid to work on this case from long time, they should be knowing all this. These are not these small micro economies we are talking about. These are famous import-export markets in the world. So when big banks like these are allowing to buy XRP, whole XRP, along with the cryptos, which SEC don't go after, Bitcoin and Ether, you now need to ask like, okay, then what is there as a functionality for XRP to come up with all these? Because they think this is not a security and they are providing institutional grade protection for these crypto assets. Asset, not a security. Great. So now, you do see all of this happening, but SEC will not acknowledge this. Great. One of the reasons why I was saying like the level of hypocrisy involved here, the sky high level of hypocrisy, that's the only reason why SEC should be banned because they're not acting as someone who is protecting the retailers. They are acting as a security for the Wall Street. Now, that being said, we'll just have a look at the market right now, what it's doing, how things are evolving. Because right now, you have a narrative in the market like, we are going to hell. The price is going all the way down, maybe another hundred percentage down. I'm like, do you really mean that? A lot of people believe that it is happening like that, but they don't actually look at what you should be looking at. This, yes, it's a short term chart, but a breakout here gives you the ability to move a little bit higher, test this range and then go higher. So one, you are still bullish. You're still holding this pattern. Now on a daily chart, this is for me really important to note that when this day closed, you actually got an engulfing candle, which is bullish. And at the same time, you move 
a little bit out and say, okay, we kind of bounced from the 200 day moving average and the 50 day moving average. I'm surprised. I was actually expecting it to come a little bit lower, close to 0.42 and bounce, but it did bounce from 0.43, which was like the initial support level. Now, you again go back to ask these questions like, okay, what are the possibilities here? Can we really come a little bit lower? That still is a possibility unless you break this. If you go higher and break this level, now that's something different. You are now going high. Where the SEC is sleeping or awake, it does not matter. The once the price is breaking through this level, now we are looking at $1. Then from there, the FOMO will be so high. Now imagine if XRP can actually do this run up when XRP is, is having the SEC issue. It does not matter when you go up, but the difference here is, yes, the institutional level of money, which we really want to see to come in to the crypto market, it will not come unless there is a regulatory, proper regulatory clarity from the US. That is really important to note. But at the same time, you look at the market and you say like, okay, there are different assets. Some has fundamentals, some don't, but they are all slowly grinding back up. Some of them are breaking higher. So you see breakout opportunities happening, small coins pumping here and there. That does mean opportunities, but you need to know this is risky. If you are aware of your risk tolerance, take that chance. And if you're looking for details of these charts and updates, you can look at the Patreon. The link is given in the description below. So guys, if you received value, please do hit that like and subscribe button if you haven't done that already. I'll meet you guys on the next video. Bye for now.